All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Kurt, and today uh, is episode four of Golden Ticket Chasing. Um, a lot of people have commented other names, which I'm so close to changing it to because it is pretty dope. Some of the guy, some of the names you guys have commented, but today, well, actually, before we get into what we're doing today, if you guys didn't see the last video, go check it out. I'm about to give a little spoiler or whatever. It wasn't nothing. It's well, it was pretty cool. It was pretty insane. Um, not only did I uh, pull an NFL 100. Oh man, who was it? Who was it? I think it was the punter, Ray Guy. I'm pretty sure that was him. He went. He sold for like 200k. But that I don't know how I did this. Now I'm almost positive he sells for 50 or 60k. That 91 overall, Bo Jackson. He uh, I sold him for 150k. 150k. I looked him up on my head. So like at the end of the video, I showed you guys how much he was going for. He was going for like, I, there was like one card up or one or two cards up for like 200 and some K or something like that. Something crazy, which I know was absolutely ridiculous and he doesn't go for that, right? So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to throw him up for 150 K and I sold him. We're on a different account right now, but you know what? I'm going to hop on my other account just to show you guys the notification that Bo Jackson sold for 150 K. I can't believe it. I looked it up on Mudhead. He said, said he went for 60 K. I thought he went for 40 or 50 but he actually went for 60, but I sold him for 150. So uh, I'm gonna hop on my that other account real quick, and, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, guys. So here it is. As you guys can see, we're on my other account. This is my account. Did you? I don't know if it showed. Uh, but anyway, we go down here to your auction ha item has sold. Your Bo Jackson auction has sold for 155,600 coins. God, like. I, I bet I could look him up right now and he's going for like 50 or 60k. I couldn't believe it. So after that video, I was like, okay, I made my coins back, obviously, because I pulled a card that went for 200k. Um, yeah, I just, I, I couldn't believe it. Here, hold on. Let me let me go to Bo Jacks and see what he's going for right now. See, guys, he's going for like 68,000 coins right now. And I sold him for 150k. I don't know how I did it. I just... One night before I was, went to bed, I just threw him up, and he and I got up the next day, and he sold. So uh, that was just awesome. That was an awesome thing to to log on to, and I was like, I just couldn't believe it. But anyway, I'm gonna hop on that other account real quick, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get into the packs. All right, guys. So we're back. We're gonna hop into these packs. Um, so oh, today. So let's get into what we're doing today. I do have questions, but. I think I'm just going to keep open Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. Uh, Legend Fantasy Packs are cool. Game Changers are cool. Um, I really don't like Elite change, elite, play, elite Player Packs. Um, I just feel like there's only like two and a half weeks until the next Madden or something like that. I think that uh, these will give us the best chance for pulling golden tickets. And that's what I'm going to stick with. And who knows? We've got plenty of coins. Um... So we're going to open some today. I don't know how many we're going to open, however many it takes for us to get through the questions. But um, yeah, let's get into the questions. So the first question comes from Yo Man Seahawks fan. He asks, who who starts for the Dolphins if there's a week 17? So at the end of the season, I, I think he's asking at the end of the season, who will be starting for the Dolphins? So first off, I think I'm going to go and start opening packs. I think Tannehill, not Tannehill, Fitzmagic. Yeah, I call him Fitzmagic because I am a big fan of Ryan Fitzpatrick, but um, I think he's starting right off the bat. I think there's a good chance that they end up swapping quarterbacks in between the season. I don't know, but I think the Dolphins actually have a very, very good team. I think they did a good job picking up Jordan Howard, Matt Bereda, which I think Matt Bereda is a beast. Um, I think they have a very, very, very underrated wide receiver core. Okay, first card. Okay, we'll take it. But um, I do think they have a very, very underrated wide receiver core. Um, another big X. Okay. 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 But um, anyway, a very underrated wide receiver core. I think Devontae Parker is a beast. Absolute beast. Um, I just, I think he's super underrated. I know he's had problems with the old coach and stuff. And I think he's really starting to, really going to start to come out in these next couple years or the rest of his career. Um, I think he's an absolute beast. Also, so I went and just looked it up. Um, I had to look it up to make sure I, I got his name right. But Preston Williams, I think he is a beast as well. He's young. If he, I, I just, I think he's a beast, man. And um, also, 
Albert Wilson, and they also have this guy named Alan Hearns, who I am actually, when he played for, ooh, okay, uh, when he played for the Jaguars, I was actually a really big fan of Alan Hearns. I think he's a beast. Um, I think he played for Dallas Dallas last year. And I think he, I don't know what happened, but now he's on the Dolphins. And I think, uh, I think he's a beast too. He could be good. I think, I think that, man, I think the Dolphins have one of the best receiving cores in the league. And it, and it goes like three or four deep. Then they're all pretty good. So I think the Dolphins are good, but week 17, not full ultimate legend, Brian Urlacher. We have it. We're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer to a golden ticket. 96 overall. That's the highest pull we've had in this series so far. But um, but yeah, so do I think who do I think will be starting week 17? Now, now don't this is a complete guess, right? I'm not saying I know. I just if I had to put my money on it, man, teams do teams do like to go with the rookie, but I have a feeling that. Fitz Magic, unless he's, yeah, I don't know, but Fitz Magic could keep them in the playoff hunt, and uh, I think I think it might be Fitz Magic, man. I think it might fit, be Fitz Magic. I think, I don't know. I just really think that the Dolphins have a chance at making the playoffs. I really do. Um, but who knows? Like stuff can change. You know, teams that you guys think are going to do good might not do good. Who knows? It happens every year. But. Uh, I do think that Fitzmagic and the Dolphins are in for a pretty good year. And if I had to put my money on it, I'm going to say Fitzmagic is going to be starting at the end of the year. But I could easily see Tua being starting at the end of the year. So it's just, I don't know. It just It's honestly 50-50 to me. All right, guys. And the next question comes from Colin. He asks, how do how do I think Keenan Allen will do without Phillip Rivers? So here, um, I've talked about the Chargers a little bit. I've talked about um, Austin Eckler, which I thought he was going to do good anyway. I, I think he's going to do good. I think he's in for a pretty big year. Um, now, Keenan Allen, I think he's still going to get his, no matter what quarterback starts for them and whether he does good or bad. I think Keenan Allen's going to get his because he's like the only receiver there. I know they probably have so, some other solid – they do have Hunter Henry, but – I think Keenan Allen is such a beast. He's still going to get his. Let me know what you guys think. Um, now, man, I, I am a huge fan of Keenan Allen. I think he... I already talked about Devontae Parker, how I think he's underrated. I think Keenan Allen is extremely underrated. Do I think Do I think he's as good as like DeAndre Hopkins or Julio Jones or Michael Thomas or whatever, you know? Um, no. But do I think he's far away? No. Um, he doesn't have... I don't know. He, I just really like Keenan Allen. I think he's underrated. People don't give him enough credit, because um, the Chargers have always ran kind of a weird offense. It's very spread out, if you guys get what I mean. And uh, they do like to run the ball a lot. At least when they had Melvin Gordon. I don't know what's going to happen without Melvin Gordon. Uh, I still think Austin Eckler will get a lot of rushing yards, but uh, but yeah, I do think Keenan Allen will still get his no matter what. It, so let me know what you guys think about that. Come on, we're getting a lot of big X's today. Oh man, okay, only a 92. All right guys, so that's it for the questions. We are gonna open up one more pack. Um, so I wanna talk to you guys a little bit. If there's anything that you guys wanna see, there's only two weeks left of Madden 20. So let me know, let us know if there's anything you guys wanna see uh, because there's, like I said, there's only like two and a half weeks um, and honestly, Madden 20 is dead. It's been dead for a while. We've just been grinding through, you know what I mean? Chugging along. Uh, come on, Big X. Uh, two full legends. Two full legends. 296 overalls. That's not bad. We'll probably be taking him. But, uh, but yeah, let me know if there's, let us know if there's anything specifically you guys want to see. Um, like, here's an idea. We have an idea to do tier lists a couple tier lists i mean we've got one or two in mind but um yeah i mean tier list i think that's pretty anything fun that you guys want to see right before madden 21 because when madden 21 drops we are grinding we are grinding i think we have like i mean this isn't set in stone but like four videos that we want to post um the day of madden 21 drops so let me know. Let us know if there's anything specifically you guys want to see before Madden 20. Also, you can let us know 
if there's anything you guys want to see in Madden 21. But uh, let's check the prices of these full legends we got. I think that's about it that we pulled. Um, yeah, th I'm, I think this pack opening was a bust, guys. It, it, was, it wasn't very good. But there was one of the Brian Erlacher. What's he going for nowadays? 43k. Yeah, it's crazy. We pull a full legend and it doesn't even pay for. It barely pays for. It doesn't even pay for half the pack actually. Um, we did pull this 95 Brian Dawkins. I had nothing. But yeah, guys, this this pack opening was a bust. Um, also, let me know if there's if you guys want to see other packs. We're, I'm gonna keep doing Ultimate Legend Fantasy packs unless you guys tell me otherwise. Because I feel like Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack give us give us the best odds. Um, other than that, I don't I don't know. I mean, I like the Game Changer packs, but let let me know what you guys think is the best chance of or what packs I should pull to give me the best chance of pulling a golden ticket. Because that's the whole point of the these videos and this series is pulling a golden ticket. I Game Changer uh, Game Changers are might be the only one. That might be any good, but see, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll we'll go ahead and open up a uh, Legends Fantasy Pack real quick. Uh, these are actually I keep forgetting about these, but these are actually pretty good. Um, I I don't know. Just let also let me know if you guys have had or pulled any golden tickets because I have not seen a golden ticket in a long, long time, and I'm interested to see if any anybody watching this video actually pulls has pulled a golden ticket recently. Uh, we're gonna make this one a quick one. John Marquise Brown. I'm glad I didn't see that animation because that would have probably got me excited. But uh, let's see here. Okay. A uh, 93. Not not terrible. Okay. But anyway, guys. Like I said, this pack opening wasn't the best. We had two full lessons. That's pretty cool. But they didn't go for nothing. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Louder. Peace.